Here we are, gang. We are here for the Sea Star Memorial Lecture. Sea Star has been with us seven years. It's born in Louisville, Kentucky. It's April Fool's Day. It's been in our Erie, PA. East Coast Series. So this is in honor of Cincinnati Sea Star. C is for carbon. Red stars make carbon. And what we're showing on the background for this is the amino acid backbone. So what we got to get are the diamond diamond triangles. And then what we're going to do is we want each successive page to line up next to it so that when we do the amino acids on the bottom, we'll be able to have them all listed out. So this, for example, is a typical we're going to call it a plate. It's going to be one page. It's going to be leucine. And we're going to use the watercolors, but we did this real quick with the old whiteboard markers here. So we've got diamonds, triangles, circles, and dots. CHONs. These are all amino acids, so one sulfur is in there. Other than that, this should be pretty simple. So I'm going to set that there, give you a solar system background. Always like the Milky Way. Anybody that doesn't like the Milky Way makes me wonder. The Milky Way. So how do we start? We'll do a typical one here so that we can have our amino acid backbone in the background. What I want to tell you all is this is all recyclable stuff. This is stuff I found in my dog walks, the backbone, triangles for nitrogen, triangle goes to a diamond, diamond goes to diamond. How do we do this here? We're going to go to tip. Is that it? I don't know, but it's see if we keep going either way you do it, it's not wrong. So we come again to triangle, to a diamond. See, I get lazy and I can't even draw my diamonds to a diamond. Let's try that on. Yeah, it's got to be the bottom. To a diamond, then back to a triangle. Okay, that's the amino acid backbone. To make it more colorful, since it's going to be in the background here, we'll put our hydrogens. First, to be safe, this is how whenever you count chemicals with compounds and structures, say a combustion reaction, you start counting the carbons first. Well, oxygens, you always save the hydrogen to last. So these are going to have the double bonded, if you remember, O here. So we're going to make this real colorful in the background. Now the next one's actually backwards. The groups switch. So we'll keep that. Well, it's too late now. we got to keep it this way. So all our backbone is going to be just typical ones, the way they draw them in the book. Okay. Double bonded oxygen on that diamond. This diamond gets the amino acid. Call it AAs on the end there. So like I said, this one would actually be up there, but we're going to keep it this way. AAs, so that's carbon, carbon. These are nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. So do you see how simple this is, people, kids? What are our things? We, everybody knows what a diamond is. Everybody knows what a circle is. Everybody knows what a triangle and diamonds are. So this, if we were really doing it to teach, we could call it a CO. That would be a fun way to do it. CO because it's a carbonyl. So if you really got lazy, you could even draw it like that and not have to draw the O up there. You just draw COs in there. So are you getting it? 
make it fun, make it any way you want. The O would have to be the same size as the C, otherwise people would think it's the element cobalt. But we're talking protein, amino acid stuff here, so we know it's not cobalt. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygens. For you sticklers that are really up on it, because I'm telling you, the hydrogens are the first thing that everybody learns, and that's the least important. And it's the dumbest, because look, all that stuff is the carbons, the nitrogens, and the oxygens. So I don't even care about the protons, do those last. So there's a proton hydrogen, there's a proton hydrogen. There's one up there. You, all we're doing is filling in the diamonds, right? Diamonds got four bonds if there's a loose one out there. So look where the reds are. They're bouncing back and forth here, huh? Pretty cool. Now, technically, I'll show you this because it is kind of a Roswell, New Mexico time of year. I don't believe in aliens. But nitrogen actually has a lone pair of electrons here, so it's good if you put a little electron pair in there. Then it makes like some kind of little aliens flying his spaceship. So that's the dumb stuff. We're focusing on the amino acid. So look what you can do in the classroom, teachers. We're going to draw a protein. Something to draw on here. I'm going to take our good quality paper here. I found somebody threw their resume away. We're recycling paper, so it doesn't matter. We're going to take these two dirty ones first to practice on. So remember, like I said, the same shapes, and we want the we want it to line up up top. So let's try this with our colored markers first. We need a green somewhere. We'll save oxygen for less. So we want our blue triangle in the left corner here. And our pages are going to line up. So let's take our triangle. The way I determined I think best worked was taking, and I think it looked best. So we take our this to the side of the diamond. So we've got to shoot this pretty fur down here. Already missed. <laughs> what am I doing? See, I'm no artist. I couldn't draw flies if they were poop on my shoes. That's the best one I've heard. And we're going diamond again, so we'll stay black. And it's best to go this way so we catch the bottom up here. So sideways, sideways, sideways. And what we want is this corner to line up on that. So you'll see when the next page comes in, you've got your carbon here. lined up right next to your nitrogen. And then this is what we're going to focus on down here to give us the area to draw the amino acid. And then you can take them and you can string them up next to each other and make the whole protein across the classroom, your science center, your bedroom. So these are cool. And we're going to draw the amino acid with the same kind of diamonds, circles. And look at that. I dropped the black marker and it disappeared somewhere. <laughs> okay, so that's telling us we're going to give up on the markers, I guess. No, we're not. See? Diamond, diamond, triangle. Nothing to it. Let's take our next scrap paper here. So see if it would line up. Want triangle. Over here was our, see I keep calling the diamond the triangle. Over here we want that to line up, so we're going to go triangle. Nitrogen, carbon, and this is the carbon because we want it up high there to get the double bond on there. So where's our green? Let me just use a marker here. This is going to get the double bonded O. Double bonded O. See how it's the same thing all the way across. Let's line that up. See the way it'll come across here? We got that lined up. Put another one here. Is that one behind you? Is that messing you up there too? Probably doesn't help having that back there, huh? On top. Should I get rid of that? 